mustache? Uh, no, I've kind of been rocking it in the off season. Change up. You feel like the defensive line group has shaped up with all the new additions that you've added during the off season? Do you think it uh, was good? Uh, I liked how it was going. Um, I liked how the edge guys were starting to develop and get used to the scheme. Floyd looks great, um, which is expected. Um, but yeah, I like I like all the additions. Really good dudes. We had a nice D line dinner before we left to get to know each other a little bit, and um, I'm excited. Did you talk to Brandon Ayuk at all about your contract about the contract negotiations? I know you just went through yours as well. Um, I talked to him early in the off season, but uh, not for a while. <clears throat> it can be really tough what you hear from the organization, and you have to kind of let some of that go. Yeah, it's business, and I think everybody understands that. Sometimes when players are in the position you were last year and it goes on, there's a criticism that you're being selfish, trying to get the most amount of money you can. How did you sort of navigate that criticism? I just don't pay attention. Have you been able to talk to Dre at all, and what are his spirits like if you have? Yeah, it was just in the weight room um, with him, and he seems really good. He's sticking to the plan. Uh, doesn't want to get ahead of the plan, even though he's starting to feel really good. So just trying to stick to what the trainers have for him and be ready when uh, that plan is set for. Nick, would, did you change anything up at all in your off-season workouts? How would you describe kind of what you put yourself through in the off-season? It was a good, good off season. Uh, took it slow after a really long year. Um, I think I kind of built it up better than I have in the past. Uh, but me and Joey did a really good job, and um, I think I'm in as good a shape as I'll be in. And uh, we've made some tweaks here and there, nothing too crazy, but uh, I think it's going to be good results. Yourself having to change things up a little bit more just because you continue to, to go deep into these postseasons and and that how do you feel that kind of wear and tear add up? Over here? Yeah, uh, there's plenty of time in the off season uh, to take it slow, and sometimes I get antsy and and want to get after it quicker. But as I go in my career, I understand that uh, you have to be you have to build it up at the right times, and especially when you're playing 20 game seasons, uh, just building it up slow and, and peaking at the right time. And this year was much easier with knowing when I'm going to report. Last year was tough with, uh, I was kind of in no man's land for a month and a half, not really knowing. So it was tough to really set it up the right way, but uh, much, much more uh, structured this year. Nick, when you go through so many excruciating playoff losses, does doubt ever creep in your mind like, can this, will we ever win a Super Bowl? Um, it does when when you lose the games, um, but I think that passes, and then you get to work, and uh, you really have no other option to, but to grind it out again. At what point, because a lot of guys say, like, right afterwards, you can't imagine them trying to climb the mountain again. It just it seems like too much. At what point in the offseason do you I think by the end of the off season, I'm always ready to get back to work. Um, that's kind of the nice thing about having two halves of your year. Um, I spend half my year in Florida and half my year out here. So by the end of the season, I'm ready to get home. And by the end of uh, my time at home, I'm ready to get to work. So it's a good split. Your dad was a D lineman. Do you guys, do you guys talk? D line. I mean, D lines are so technique rich. Do you, do, do you guys talk D line play and get offs and moves and that kind of thing? Does he want to talk to you and Joey about that kind of stuff? No, not really. Um, he's from a different era, a lot different, uh, a lot different game back then. And uh, he gives me his observations, but um, not 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 too much advice from dad. Drake Jackson, Ben, I know he wanted to be a sponge when he first got here. How is he, Ben? I know he's been around, but injured. You said, how is he doing? Yeah. He's doing great. Uh, it's tough when you're injured. It's kind of lonely, and you don't feel a part of it. Um, everybody's going out to practice, and you're in the weight room and in the training room all day, so it's kind of a tough road. And um, 
gets lonely. So just trying to support him through it and uh, hopefully he gets back to himself. I think the Chargers were making a lot of moves early in this offseason and cutting. Did you ever allow your mind to think, okay, if Joey was available, what it would be like him on the other end of you? I did, yeah. Uh, it was fun to think about, but uh, I think he wanted to stick with the team and, and be a part of hopefully they're turning it around. Uh, I think they have the people to do it, but haven't really had the um, everything come together. So, yeah, I'm excited. He's been there for a long time, so it would be a shame if he left when they turned it around. Nick, have you had a chance to meet Steph 49K, the Instagram uh, influencer that kind of mimics you, and what do you think of the impressions? I haven't met her. Um, they're good, I guess. Uh, they kind of annoyed me in the beginning, but I'm, I'm over it. So, uh, I guess, I guess they're good. Do you watch the Olympics, and if so, do you have a favorite sport? I haven't watched yet. Um, I don't know. I'm not, not too big of an Olympic. I like gymnastics. It's fun to watch. Um, soccer. I didn't watch it, no. <laughs> yeah, well, I think my dad told me. What was it? That George has his birthday party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, hoping they didn't have a mic too close to me at the party. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks.